For everyone in the audience who admires all of you deeply and one day would like to have a job like each of you, I mean, what advice would you give, like sort of the top rule for women out there who would like to follow in your footsteps? I mean, I'm happy to jump in first. So I'd give two pieces of advice. The first one you hear all the time on the, on the airplane, the security guidelines, I'm sure you've heard it, put your oxygen mask first before assisting others. Uh, and I think it's, it's really important because it's, a, a good one. it's so demanding to have to be, uh, you know, to, to manage your family and a, a, a very uh, demanding career that, that you're going to run out of steam. If you just keep pushing yourself and don't listen to your body and don't stop, you're just going to run out of steam and then you're no help to anyone. So that's, that's uh, rule number one. The second rule I would say is about having having kids and when to have kids. So if you decide to have kids, which is a very personal choice, I would say don't care about when the next promotion is. You have the kid when you feel personally ready for it, and then everything will sort itself out. So... Yeah. <laughs> I, would say, but, I would say the most important thing you need to realize is the transformational power of believing in yourself. Because how are you going to get others to believe if you don't have that power internally? And it's just so critical. But at the same time, you have to have acute self-awareness of your impact on others. Um, and it's the combination of those two things that I think are really important. And I would say, you know, when you own your vulnerability, you become the most powerful person in the room because you own the narrative of whatever thing that you know, potentially holds you back. Some of it is the self-awareness associated with it, but it took until my 40s to really recognize that paradox because I was so afraid of, oh, I'm not perfect or you're not gonna see. And it's like, no, this part, I got some work to do, but I'm telling you how I'm gonna rewrite that rule and how I'm going to achieve as a result. So we are zero, and I, <clears throat> I feel that I've already answered about that. But I would like to <laughs> say one thing that is very important. As we, as us women now, are feeling, you know, and hopefully we are not putting the, the, the lid back and we speak, I think we have to spend a lot of time thinking about how we are raising our sons. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that... <clears throat> Women have the future in their hands with the children. And how we raise our sons is so important to how they will behave 20 years from now.